Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Crusader Kings Wednesdays with the Game of Thrones mod. Everyone, introduce yourselves. Hey, hey, this is Clayborn, Twitch TV slash C1Aborn, and I am playing Lord Paramount Eddard of the North. And uh, I don't remember what I was doing. And this is Rab. I'm playing um, Tywin Lannister. Try to do the voice. Uh, thinking about how to do the voice in my head, but maybe I'll get there. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and I, of course, am playing the cool people. Cool. You guys ready to unpause on two speed? Yep. Let's Deep. do it. I just noticed how awesome the house banner of the Lords of Red March is. Just a skull with a crown. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one's neat. If you play this mod on single player, um, and you, uh, I, I don't, maybe they have it in multiplayer because um, you, uh, you can be, you can have a squire, I know, but if you can be a squire, the mo the you get events from your tutor that ask you to identify the house banners, um, and you have to just like, you know, I mean, I guess you could pause it and start looking around. But it was pretty fun doing those off the cuff. Neat. Seriously, how the fuck is Hoster Tully Master of Whispers and not me? If 35th entry. Yeah, we were critiquing his council decisions the last time. It's pretty strange. Yep. Mm. Also, Hoster totally has a uh, lover's box. <laughs> Did you all see the new big brain decision that the Lord and Savior Elon Musk made? I have no. What's made. that? My he, <laughs> not sure if this is Twitter policy now or anything, but he just tweeted out that he considers cis and cisgender to be slurs on Twitter. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> He's really making that uh, Henry Ford movement. It just goes downhill from here. My friend has a Tesla, and I'm really tempted to ask him, like, what happens if it goes out of business? <laughs> he then has a, a very expensive brick. Yeah, there's more car dealerships that are adding on uh, Tesla um, adaptivity to their uh, to their network there. So, you know, that's uh, that's been increasing their stock price recently. I wonder how that ran today. I made a little bit of money off it. How a company whose only means for profit is selling off carbon credits is actually still making money in the year of our Lord 2023, I have no idea. Interestingly enough, the Chinese market's really been taken off for Tesla. Huh. Is it is it cars that they're selling, or are they selling the batteries? I mean, the the, the batteries part of the car sort of thing. That's probably all the same. Gotcha. Oh, it looks like a oh wow, really some volatility on Tesla today. A real precipitous decline. Holy shit. I wish I would have just sat in Tesla all day watching the downside happen. That would have been money. One of these days, there's going to be a margin call on the Twitter loan. It's, it, it, it's going to happen. I must retain hope. Unless the Saudis have too much to lose by letting Twitter go under. I mean, Twitter's been delisted. There's not going to be a margin call on that name anymore. 
the not on Twitter, on the loan. Ah, okay, yeah. Because he had he bought Twitter with Tesla as collateral. Right, right. So, with Tesla's price and stability, I have no idea how there hasn't been a margin call. Mm, probably because Tesla stock's been going up recently, so it technically is worth more. Now, a couple of months ago, it was in freefall. Indeed. They were probably banking on uh, a bounce. I wonder what the I wonder what Tesla's gonna do at this level though. I don't know. I'll worry about it tomorrow. That's when I'm trading again. Oh. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna take advantage of what happened last week and go to war with the Stormlands. There you go. As soon as I get enough... No, I'm going to start serious. investing in wealth generating building. I'm just doing Tywin things, making Tyrion's life a living hell. Naturally. Yeah, I betrothed my daughter matrilineally to Euron. Talk about that one. Oh yeah, and inside of two generations, the Starks are going to be ruling the Iron Islands. I knew I made some moves. Did you choose the name Sarya? No, I rolled randomly. <laughs> okay. I mean, no Sansa, no Arya. <laughs> Let's mold them into one.
Oh my god, Tyrion has a porn stash. Mm. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Thankfully, I can barber shop him, shop him. Let's see what I should give him instead. Damn, Gulltown lost or won its independence war against the Vale, and now the guy is the regent of the Vale. Ah. Huh. No wait, or is he Chancellor? Wait a minute. Can't be regent because regent is. Thing that's in the current patch, uh, the current version. Mm, not shit, you're right. The one you're playing. My brain is still CK2 dependent uh, in that regard. Well, I made Tyrion my court fool. Oh, jeez. I had to punish him somehow for growing a mustache like that. <laughs> so I made him shave it, but I made him don a jester's hat instead.
make me my, one of my powerful vassals, my corpse fool. Wasn't the best choice, but fuck that. You gotta pick one of your vassals to just piss off. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna get get the rest of them happy, then who cares if one of them is pissed off? Yeah, they're most of them pretty happy, except him. So, fuck him. Not giving you a council position. Can be a fool. Once they add Essos, it'd be pretty fun to play a game where you try to, like, change the core language of the Iron Throne. Oh, that'd be a fun one. Just, like, transform it to, like, the Valyrian tongue. Yeah, exactly. I mean, right now there's only one valid core language because there's only one language. At least right. as far as I know. Maybe they've added more languages, but they haven't added any characters to speak them. Oh, you know, Varys has a language you can learn. What's that? Varys has a language you can learn. Really? Yeah, I was looking at him earlier. Ooh, I'm gonna have my kids study the old tongue. There's a move. The drunken antics of my son and heir, Tyrion, have been the subject of court gossip before. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, well, he's definitely going into the dungeons. Oh, man. Well, he's no, he's no longer my fool. I mean, you can learn Valyrian, because my daughter just did. And Euron Greyjoy is now my knight. Oh, nice. Yeah, I guess when I said there was only one language, I wasn't really looking. I was just looking at the core languages that were active, but I think there's probably even... I was just really looking at the um, the Iron Throne, and I don't, I don't think there's any Wildling Kingdoms, so that's why they didn't show up. Interesting if they had a way to auto to auto control the armies. Uh, 
instead, instead of having to attach them to the Allies' army. Oh, yeah. Okay. Assign this character, and he's in control. No, he, he decides where the fuck the, the army goes. Well, I mean, now that they have tours and tournaments, they should make it so that um, you can't assign... You can't even move your armies. It has to be the AI unless um, you uh, personally go over there or something like that. I mean, maybe maybe they can make it like Hearts of Iron Four, where you could give like general battle plans because that would make a lot of sense. It yeah. would. But I mean, it, you shouldn't be able to just like micromanage your armies from barony to barony from your Atlas and Dorn. Ooh, I might be about to get a Valyrian sword. 36% chance. So if I right click on Jamie, I get an option for force contraceptives. <laughs> <laughs> Did they have male contraceptives in this in this uh, universe? Not that I'm, I know of. I might be mistaken, but I do believe condoms were initially made out of a sheep's intestines or something like that. Oh, well, that's true. I was, I guess I was kind of thinking of like, uh, um, chemical. I don't know why. But I guess any birth form birth control is contraceptives. But I guess it's just kind of funny to imagine Tywin, like, somehow forcing Jamie in the King's Guard to wear condoms and verifying that he's actually doing it. <laughs> yeah, like, how do you enforce that? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they knew of something. Like, they they knew of ways to, to induce abortion, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. 
forced Jamie to get a vasectomy. <laughs> Man, if I wasn't so honorable, I could have, like, two, three more thrones. And there's my court grandeur maxed out. I'm sure I'm making you run. My captain of the guard is not going to be a problem in any way, shape, or form. Well, I guess I better romance Catelyn just to hurry up and make some friggin' male heirs already. <laughs> time it so she gets birth right as about the time I'm supposed to lay with her but we'll see she's already pregnant right now yeah not pregnant enough oh I see yeah you gotta get her double pregnant you gotta get her super pregnant storm lens and gave it to Oberyn. Lord Jantos up in the walls wearing some ridiculous armor. Those Sandornish armors are very interesting. It looks like a friggin' Sith or something. <laughs> 
It's weird that his heir is somebody who hasn't even taken the black. I'm assuming that, that maybe whenever they he dies, there's an election. Uh, yeah, the, the wall's elective. He's fighting somebody. Kevin keeps asking for me to give him Castamere. No. Right? I already gave you a title. Same with uh, me and Benjin. Benjamin ain't gone on, up north yet? Pardon me? Yeah, he hasn't gone up north yet? No, I gave him some land that I couldn't hold. just had a kid with the rock. Ooh, I can build AP areas. Well, looks like I couldn't romance her, but I did get a bunch of prestige. Nice. Well, seduce it is.
A shadow cat's coming at me. Draw steel. One slash from good steel, and the shadow cat takes flight. A lesson I hope it remembers. I am not betrothing my daughter to a fray. Thank you very much. <laughs> There's plenty of them to go around, you sure? Nope, I've seen how that ends. Not gonna happen. <laughs> to a Valarion. Hey there, Adrian Asteroid, how's it going? I just made you on my spy. I have no idea what the <laughs> hell that happened. What the hell that does. Uh, if they're your spy, they'll tell you... They'll sometimes give you, like, hooks and stuff on people. Ooh, nice. Does have a shit ton of intrigue.
there's there's an Rainy Targaryen still around. Who now? There's a, a, a Rainy Star. There's a Rainy Targaryen uh, betrothed to. Oh yeah, to I can see that. Someone. Someone. <laughs> hmm. I would assume it's canon that that person survived, but I don't know. Philip was the only living Targaryen. Oh, that's true. Okay, why the fuck did Euron go to Pike? Wow. Was there a King's Moot? I think there might have been King's Moot. Oh, Lord, Lord, Mel Lord Paramount Quellen is dead. Ah. He'd be over here being the, my captain of the guard. Fuck's sake. Yeah, we're good if you're not threat. Well, I'm sending Kevin after Bright War now, um, but it's not the Kevin that you think. It's just some random lowborn who happens to be named Kevin. Kevin. Meanwhile, I'm here slowly taking over the Stormlands. Oh, wow, Kevin died. RIP. RIP to a real one. Weird. He's matrilineally married to, to to my daughter, yet he left my court and won't come back. And my daughter is still in my court. Mm -hmm. Plus, she's my player.
There is a king beyond the wall. At least one. It's not the king beyond the wall, looks like, but... There's a king tier title of there. Yeah, be a king tier title. The Fens have one as well, which makes sense. I can make Tyrion into a Septon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now that would fuck with them. Mm. Yep, we're doing it. Ooh. Keep in mind, you might be, uh, oh dear. I was about to say, keep in mind, you might be, uh, fragging your inheritance. Yeah, it looks like I kind of am, unfortunately. Cersei is now my heir. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Could possibly go wrong. All right, I boinked my wife. Go me. I can designate my heir, though, so all I gotta do is get another heir somehow. What about Kevin Lannister? It's gotta be one of my kids, so I gotta get another kid. And Ooh. I do actually have one kid, and it's Tyrion's kid, supposedly, so I could... Wait, I can designate her heir. Perfect, yeah. Joanne Lannister now, eh? Yeah, she's definitely Tyrion's kid and not my kid for sure. Yeah, I mean, she got the brain power. It could be a good run. Yep. Okay, that's fixed now. I now have an alliance with Bobby B. 
Nice. Join the club. Yeah, indeed. And the Valarians. Not that they're that powerful of a house anymore. But still. I lost my alliance with... The Greyjoys, though. Why? Because uh, uh, the Lord died, and any time they die, you pretty much always lose the alliance, and you might be able to negotiate a new one. Indeed. Okay, no. My kid's still married to Euron. Your kid's married yeah. to his brother, though. He probably just doesn't care. You might be able to negotiate an alliance if you ask nicely. Ah, different faiths. Pretty big bus. Let's try swaying him, then. And there, my alliance is reformed with him. I'm trying to fabricate claims, but my septum is shit. With Stormlands, I go again. Jon Snow, it seems, is going to be the first knight in the north. Nice. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be churning, well, at least in my court, he's going to be churning out a lot of knights throughout his life. Oh, I'm no longer the master of laws. That's, aw. Oh. Wow, he fired you? Dang. Yeah, I might petition to try to get my spot back. Yeah. Oh, I'm becoming the Master of Arms. That makes sense. You replaced Stannis? Hmm. Weird. Stannis had a lot more martial than you do. Stannis is the High Lord of Dragonstone! Uh, Look at that. Noticed, noticed that the other uh, moment ago. Finally. Looks like I replaced Stannis as the Master of Arms. Hmm. Yep, which is weird because he has a lot more martial than you do. Just another one of Bobby B's little choices, I guess. Yeah. Like not making me Master of Whispers. For some reason. <laughs> How's my intrigue right now? 32. Yeah, he could literally just swap you and Hoster and have a bad admiral. Oh, now he made his Master Whispers Giles Rosby, and he made uh, Hoster 
the um, Master of Laws. He's getting closer to having a sane uh, horde. It makes more sense. I am married to his bastard. Euron is now in prison. <laughs> he was spying. Oh, so that's why he moved to Pike. He was spying. Oh! Oh, well, it looks like the old bear is at the wall now. Alright. Oh, cool. Yeah, he won the election, huh? I wonder if that's scripted. Nice. Mm. He's kind of a badass. I don't know how he would just lose. Yeah. Jor is still holding it down, though. He's got a long claw going on, and his friggin' prowess is ridiculous. Yeah, it's interesting that Jorah is still Lord of Bear Island. Well, when did he get exiled? Because I think it was, like, during peacetime, wasn't it? Yeah. His wife was, like, super demanding, and then, like, he ended up slaving in order to pay for her demands. He does have the same wife, I think, because um, she's from the... She's a honey whiner from the Westerlands, so I would imagine that's the same person. It's not greedy, though. True. Maybe it was Jorah himself that simply went too hard and, uh, you know, fucked himself over. Oh no, apparently his, um, his, uh, wife in, in the books is Liness Hightower. Oh, it's a Hightower, that makes sense. And in this universe, she's married to uh, Willis Bracken. Ooh, one of my courtiers is going to go on an adventure now. I'm going on an adventure. Yeah, no options as to where to send them. They just walk around the world, I guess. <laughs> Just murdering all of, all of the Conningtons to make it easier to conquer the Stormlands. Wait, what the fuck happened to Wilburn? Please tell me Wilburn is dead. I think Wilburn is dead. No! Oh god, Damn. no! Wilburn is dead! Damn it. I inherited this spear, though. Died from injury? Shit. That's an arm off right there. Oh no, apparently something timed out. Damn it. Oh, really? My son's yeah, been made a I just paused. Uh, Are we good? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it's too late now. Whatever happened. Oh, I thought you meant timed out, and you like you disconnected. You were saying your no. connection was bad. No, 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 no. I'm I'm fine right now. It seems. Oberon. Gone too soon. <laughs> Fucking Valerians are just watching me in this battle not joining. Even when without them, but still. Alright, 1% chance of dying of laughter, YOLO. <laughs> Just gaining a bunch of random low tier artifacts from this wander going on. Better bring me back something badass. <laughs>
Oh Who's shit. This? Uh oh. Well, I guess I'm gonna support my buddy. It's like we're being raised in Rosby. Yeah, this is a rather one-sided battle, it looks like. I mean, his armies are still growing a bit. figurine that gives me plus one captain, hell yes. So young Griff's capital is Griffin Roost, which I guess he just took from Ronit the Red. And now Ronit didn't join their war, he's just, that's pretty funny. Excellent. House Greyjoy and House Stark have been intermarried. Oh, Young Griff doesn't even have a dark sister. I guess it was a fake after all. Is that his sword? Yeah, Varys uh, claims that Young Griff has it in a, as a means to set him up for uh, regaining the throne as like a symbol of like uh, his heritage. Okay, so I got some bulky scale armor from that adventure. I guess that's fine. Northman scale armor. father a bastard I think uh oh well I gotta have a backup just in case um the uh, random girl that definitely not my bastard it is actually Tyrion's daughter dies Get into getting, I don't even get to get into a fight, I just end up sieging.
I'll be right back. I'm gonna heat up a little bit of uh, coffee and food here. Fuck's sake, Bobby took back. Why the fuck did my war on my conquest war in the Stormlands stop being against? I have no idea. They made me master of whispers. Finally, a well deserved promotion. Plus 40 to natural dread. How is your war against uh, Stormlands going so badly? I had to restart it because for some reason, when he defeated the young Griff, uh, he was gonna be my. My, my new enemy. Ah, As yeah, that doesn't fight sound Bobby good. B, and nope. <laughs> so I basically started the <laughs> had to start work from scratch. At least I didn't lose the claims. They didn't become press claims either, which was weird. Yeah, that is a little strange. But at least his army has been, like, totally destroyed, it looks like. Yeah, pretty much. He's losing a liberty war.
motherfucker remove me from the council? In favor of, a, of the Aaron kid? Wow. <laughs> sure, fine, whatever. Moron. <laughs> Now that my kid has married the Valerian, I could convert my my kids to to High Valerian culture if I wanted to. Mm. Hopefully, you get the white hair. Honestly, that's the main thing. That hair looks so cool. Sucks they didn't do the the purple eyes. Yeah. I get I get why they didn't do it for the show, but no such constraints for the game. Yeah, I think in CK2 they had them. Also, not doing a not doing it for the show was a bit of a cop out. It's not that hard to get purple colored contact lenses. Come on. glasses to drive. Do you wear glasses at all? Uh, used to, but it's so low grade that I don't normally. I only really yeah. need it to read the far. Makes sense. So day to day doesn't really make a difference. rushing to meet a deadline, and then, um, uh, we kind of made it, and then they were like, well, there's one little thing you guys gotta do to get it to work, proceeds to describe something that's like three times as complex as the original project. Let's <laughs> see. Um, but, thankfully my boss's boss has put a stop to it. Ah, uh, clients and product managers, not even once. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is an internal PM. Um, but uh I mean we messed up on the project, we kind of, you know, caused some some we caused the the fact that we got so close to deadline in the first place, but um they did not they really messed up by not describing the you know, critical thing. Oh wow, so I could um I could claim my bastard, who's a genius boy. I'm doing it.
and Robert will let me legitimize him. I did marry his legitimized bastard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, still just says bastard, not. Huh. Oh no, uh, I confused. Uh, I was confusing how Siki three handles bastards. She's not. Uh, Legitimized. But still. Now she's my knight. Oh crap, I just remembered I have to uh, embrace celibacy ASAP. Do you have a single uh, male heir? I don't want a single male heir. Ah. Yeah, I was going to say, because I think everybody's on primogeniture in this game. I think the only thing I have different is that my two main titles have equal succession rights. But it's still primogen. Oh, right. Turns out Jon Snow kind of sucks. <laughs> Anyhow, time to go get this coffee, BRB. How would you feel about an alliance, Pope? like a pretty good match. One of the best matches that was available to me. Yeah, she's a spry little one. And I'm still in good health, so hopefully I'll um, hang on until he's of age. Tyrion is coping and seething right now. Oh, and I just realized you're fighting my house's, uh, historical rival. And by historical, I mean ahistorical. I'm gonna marry my slow daughter to a genius. Hope it balances it out.
I'm taking forever because I keep having to come back to curb stomp his army. Because he keeps sneaking around me. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll clean this up pretty quick here. I already maxed out the battles one. Have plus two hundred and five percent battles one. Got fifty. <laughs> Get more war score because I have to run around and kick his ass. Pretty rich ransoms, though. Yeah, you get a lot of prisoners in this mod. Because uh, I think there's more likely to be duels, slightly. Or maybe, or maybe it's just the fact that um, in this mod, like, it's tr based on the kind of lore, you know. Um, if if uh, people fight a duel, then that, that usually leads to prisoners. Whereas, like, in the base game, it, it's often that you just kill your opponent. Oh, uh. Well, I would have gotten an, a council appointment, but it would have kicked you out, so I won't do it. <laughs> You're um, you could kick me out. That's all right. I uh, I could I could always uh, get a little bit mad at Robert for a while, and who knows, he might have made me the hand of the king. Trace that uh, R and upstart. I, uh, uh, this is crazy, but I got visited by the dead Lord Paramount John of the Vale and told to go on a, like, a quest to repent for killing, uh, uh, Gerald Hightower, the bull of the, uh, Kingsguard. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I know. It's, now I'm on a friggin' pilgrimage to the Fist of the First Men about it. He's... <laughs> You're going north of the wall? Yo, Ned, go to this place I've never heard of to uh, atone for killing this guy that I don't care about. <laughs> right. What do we got to do to win this war? That's what I was just trying to figure the fuck out. We should get ticking soon. There's oh, no we're fighting the left. whole... We're fighting the whole thing, so we can just keep sieging, I guess. Yeah, there's one castle left to siege on the... the war goal. Otherwise... Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and move there with you. Why not? The hell are you all up to? We're f I, I joined in Pope's War because uh, his daughter was one of the best possible matches for my new legitimized bastard son. Fun. I kind of like the fact that I turned into Tyrion in my quest to replace him. Because <laughs> <laughs> I Back married the falls far from the tree. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I married a low, or I didn't marry a lowborn, I slept with a lowborn to try to make a genius son. We're already getting ticking war score, even though um, we don't control all the holdings. So this sh this might push us over the edge. Either way, either way, I'll probably go home after this.
Well, that was a pretty good quest line. It gave me some prestige. It gave me pilgrim. It wiped out all my stress. Neat. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna disband my troops soon, but I'll fight this army on my way out.
All right, Faith of the Seven Holy Order. Planning on using it against anybody? Yeah, just created it out of curiosity. Damn, Plague took me Chancellor. Weird, because I used to be like a different kind of Fifth of the Seven. Robert wanted 20 gold to uh, let my son's mother out of prison, but I don't think so. <laughs> I went as callous, but I think he was actually in love with Joanna. Uh, but the other women in his life, I think, uh, probably just there to make children. Probably. Apparently he was a pretty uh, amicable guy before she died. I mean, as amicable as a High Lord could be. Right, right. That would be interesting if they had a way to model that in the base game. Like, um, you know, I mean, it, it wouldn't be fair to just, like make you have a level three mental break just as soon as your spouse died but it would be interesting if there was like a way to like i don't know model a complete personality change based on that type of major life event yeah i guess it would feel pretty bad in the base game but it fits here i mean i guess it doesn't exist here but because <laughs> taiwan's already he already has the character traits but Indeed. I mean, it happened in, in the lore, so. Great, now I gotta defend the Iron Isles. Our law, Liberty War. <laughs> Someone's been reading a bit too much. Oh, that's not Harlaw, is it? That's... That's a different one, the reader. High crown authority, eh? Yeah, I guess Robert's real mad that uh that <laughs> Pope started chipping away at the stormlands. Fuck. Seriously? I'd be too. What am I supposed to do now? I mean Guess we gotta wait for him to die and start a liberty war, although... Uh, I can't join the liberty faction because I'm married to his daughter. Yeah, we gotta wait for him no. to die first. After he dies, all bets are off. Yeah, in this timeline, Bobby B's doing a pretty good job holding the realm together. He, uh, he's got an alliance with all of his major vassals. Basically all three players. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. King Robert just came up to my lands, clapped me on the back and said, let me help you, my friend, and then gave me 500 gold. Wow. <laughs> For a wee cook. Yeah, go ahead. I'm, hang of, I'm hand of the king. Oh, nice.
sadly no special decisions that come with yeah, we gotta wait for them to incorporate the Regents update, probably. And the Kings should probably have, like, a a permanent power-sharing uh, deal going on. Um, but just, like, you know, only if the King wants to whore and uh, drink all day like Robert did. Yeah. Like, I should be King of the Seven Kingdoms right now, basically. It's Bobby V we're talking about. This dude refuses to ransom his wife. Who's that? Uh, Lord Grants. He will not ransom his wife. Cool if characters from certain houses had buffs if they were occupying certain council positions. Yeah.
Well, I just told uh, Kevin he can't have Castamere for like the 50th time. Hmm. There's gold mine there, and I'm planning on keeping that gold mine. Damn, Cersei really likes Robert. <laughs> she has a hundred opinion of him. Yeah. I was just thinking, like, maybe they haven't scripted the event where she kills him, but... I suppose it wouldn't really make sense for her to do that if she has a high opinion of him. Stannis is captain of the household guard. <laughs> around Robert's uh, royal court right now. 
Surprisingly, none of us are there. How did King's Guard work, I wonder? It's a trait. Guessing it's like... Guessing it's probably like the Varingian. One of the King's Guard is called Knight of the Pantry. I like how in Robert's royal court, Cersei is just standing, like, right at the foot of the throne, <laughs> getting poked by the spikes. Mm. Didn't they have uh, chairs for uh, a couple of other, like, lower people to sit next to him in the show? I feel like that's a thing, but I don't know why. Just I'm just here trying to figure out how the fuck the King's Guard me mechanic works. It doesn't seem to be there's the Lord Commander doesn't seem to have like a title. You don't have a King's Guard, do you? Uh, nope. Okay, so you're just looking at you're just trying to figure out how Roberts works. Uh, exactly. Makes sense. Because the the Lord Commander doesn't seem to have like a any special trait or title or anything like that. Would make him Lord Commander of the King's Guard, other than the fact that his name is Lord Commander. And if Barristan sell me dies, then no one else is Lord Commander or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, in, in the in the CK two version. Whenever you're, whenever anybody in the King's Guard died, you get like a list of eligible King's Guard people. Hmm. I don't know how it works in here. Yeah, because he, other than his title, he doesn't have any any traits or or type. Other than his name, he doesn't have any trait or titles that would differentiate him. Right. Well, I mean, there can be um, secret, uh, like, traits and stuff, too. I mean, not not even just, like, the secret traits like which, but, like, you can just literally sit, hit, set hidden variables on characters and stuff. Yeah, probably. But I will be interested to see who um, who becomes... Uh, Lord Commander, when Barristan Selmy dies. Holy crap, I walk away for five minutes and the Iron Isles run my treasury into the ground once again, taking me from island to island.
Interesting. There's a there's an old god's faith that considers for the faith of the seven righteous. Weird. Interesting. It's most like they're most most of them are hostile, except old gods, which is hostile and astray. astray. I went to go recover Bright War died. I shouldn't have bought them the chest to quail. Honestly, I'm just gonna murder my Septon because he's so shit. Oh no, Frig, I had a son, damn it. He is handsome, though. Hmm. I guess I could do some 40 chess with this. <laughs> John Snow's a drunk. <laughs> Well, the uh, heir to the Iron Throne has become a knight, my grandson. I think my child might have to live and die just like uh, never marrying, never having any legitimate heirs and I can sort it out. Good point, good point. And as we approach the hour, how do you all feel about calling it soon?
How do you feel about ending it on the hour? I'm good with that. You mean in two minutes, right? Uh, yep. Works for me. Indeed. That's fine. My mom's calling me, so I'm gonna um, hang up Discord. I'll see you guys later. Alright, catch you on a bit. Well, we could just end it now, then. Yeah, I suppose. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us on this stream. Let's see, who are we going to raid, then? Right on, right on. Good times, good time. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Anyone watching over on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to all of the things that make the algorithm happy, and we'll see you all next time. Toodaloo!